What's good? Chicken Jump from Chicken Scoop here. And today we're back with another video. We're gonna play Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some money. As a fresh start, as a new beginner. This is gonna be a beginner's guide on how to make money. So, um, yeah. You have to understand there are two different ways of making money. There's a fast way to make money, and that's short amounts of cash. You won't make large amounts of money until later in the game. And then there's a passive way to make money. Um, quick cash ways is to go for looters and take their stuff and then sell their stuff off and to ransom your prisoners off that will earn you money um, the long term way is to buy workshops and yeah let that gener generally gives you money every day um, workshops give you money like from the day after you buy to the day of um, caravans are also a thing but they take about three to four days to start generating money and caravans do take away about three, roughly 300 um, from the beginning as soon as you start them uh, another quick way to make money is from uh, doing quests at merchants so you'll go to a city and you'll look on top and you'll see a merchant uh, it has a blue exclamation mark on it speak to the merchant and yeah the merchant should give you some cash um yeah if you do stuff like army of poachers you need people to like kill an army of poachers you don't need a lot of people they also don't need to be well skilled but that's an easy thing to do um escorting a caravan is relatively easy but sometimes a caravan it's just luck basically because sometimes the caravan does um take on some armies and like they have like cavalry and if you don't have anything to counter cavalry then you're in a pickle because you're going to be losing relationships there i don't suggest doing the family feud one the family feud one will not go well at all because it's just hard and it's not worth the struggle because you're going to end up losing and basically you're going to lose relationships as well um, there's also one where you can fence things goods from people in different cities uh, if you do that then what basically happens is you're going to get caught on your way out you're always going to get caught so you either run and leave the stuff or you take it with you but you're going to lose relationship anyway so do the army of poachers one, um, escort the caravan if you do have troops on you. Uh, they do make around a thousand dinars every time, so that's going to be your best bet. Also, attacking thugs. Attacking um, thugs such as forest bandits, uh, mountain bandits, steep bandits, they give you a lot of resources that sell for quite a bit. They're also harder to kill, so make sure you have an army on your side. Um, around 30 to 40 people is a good size. Um, mix it up between infantry and archery. Uh, if you can't afford cavalry, because cavalry does require horses as well, then put your companions on some, some horses and they can become your cavalry as well. That works nice. That's a nice startup for cavalry. But um, yeah, that's how you make your money in the beginning. Um, once you get to your first 15,000, then you should go ahead and buy yourself a workshop. Uh, workshops give you great value for money because they start earning you money passively and you pay 15,000 once off um, a few tips for you guys for workshops um, different workshops work better in different cities so a wood workshop goes great in Dang Lanies or Dang Lanies uh, I'm not sure what you want to call it uh, Dang Lanies or Dang Lanies this is where a good workshop a good wood workshop happens or gets taken because there's um there's villages around it that do wood so it provides wood for this also if you open up a caravan in the same place you have a workshop then you'll earn more money on it just make sure you clear looters and stuff around it so your caravans don't get robbed um that's a good place for a workshop in Varnapal, it's good for like linen and like smithy your smithy is the, is great here it's fantastic um where else makeb is a great for brewery um, there's two villages next to it that feed it uh, grain for brewing so that's a fantastic place for brewery so that's a couple of places that you can start um, depending on where you are I wouldn't suggest making enemies in the beginning because you want to get your money up for that so you can yeah get some workshops there um, yeah other than that get your caravans going um, if you do pledge your allegiance to a king then what he will do is he'll pay you 300 200 to 300 every day just for your support it's called king support to any king even if it's a prince princess queen whatever um they also give you queen support as money um but yeah money in this game compared to warband is not easy so don't start 
getting a large army you can't go around gathering a massive army because you won't have the finances to sustain it what i suggest is that you gather up your finances first get some passive income get at least one stream that can uh, like help you afford an army of a decent size um gather up your troops get 20 to 30 troops maybe even 40 if you can um, upgrade them to a strong troop and run around with them take some Take some looters on, some bandits on. Um, I suggest sending your troops and simulating looters. But when it comes to bandits, uh, you might want to fight it because they, if you simulate them, they will kill some, off some of your people. So yeah, those are going to give you the best loot uh, in the beginning of the game. And it's also quick money. Uh, yeah, caravans and traders, merchants in cities, always look out for the blue exclamation mark. Don't do the taken by bandits. Don't do the family feud don't do the fencing ones just do the escorting caravan and the army of poachers ones those are easy enough um yeah that should earn you money uh, money in this game in the beginning it is a grand there's no way you can make money fast but as soon as you start earning money you start snowballing and it starts growing exponentially so as soon as you have your first workshop and your first caravan that will blow you into your next caravan in about i don't know i want to say five days ten days from your first your first caravan and workshop so it exponentially grows your money so yeah just work at it grind out for the first hour or so get you like 20 troops um attack some looters and some bandits get you your gear from them upgrade your troops and uh, sell your gear sell your prisoners take prisoners where you can and uh, sell them off always um you, what you can do as well is you can trade so when you find goods of looters or bandits or whatever um, if you hover over it, it'll tell you, like, there's a hint where it's selling for a higher price at a certain city. Now, you can go to that city, but it, but by the time you get there, it might have changed. So it's not a foolproof plan. I suggest just grinding out, killing looters, um, simulating, the looters si simulating the looters battles and fighting the bandit battles. And, um, yeah, you'll earn enough money sooner or later to get a workshop and caravans going. Um, yeah, it's going to take you about an hour. Uh, if you just go for looters, then it should take you less than an hour. You earn quite a lot of money from it. Um, but yeah, tr um, what's a nice, what's a nice merchant mission to do is the. Okay, well not nice because you kind of lose, but you earn a lot of money. Merchant Zotali, a rival gang has moved in, and so you have to go and lead a bunch of guys to the rival gang. Once you meet the rival gang leader, he will say, "Hey, this place is big enough for both of us. Like, don't you want to work something out?" And they'll pay you double what the other merchant is paying you. And um, if you do take it, then you get about 1,900 to 1,200 dinars easy up front. And they will attack the other people behind you. But then you also lose relationship with that merchant that you first made the deal with. So that's kind of bad because you're losing relationship, but you're also gaining money. So I mean, yeah, for me, I can lose like two to five points in relationship if I'm gaining 1,000 dinars just to get my money so sorted so I can build a bigger army. So that I'm ready for the wars that come into Colorado. Because, you know, I'm trying to become king of Colradia one day. So, yeah. Hope you guys uh, liked the video. Hope this helped you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.